Today, students will be using gizmos to learn about the tectonic plates in the Earth's lithosphere. They will log in using username and password they have created. Once they have logged in, they will see the gizmo that they are to complete underneath the science class. They will click on the gizmo. All right. and each gizmo comes with the student exploration worksheet. This worksheet guides them through the different simulations in the gizmo that they will learn about the different plate boundaries and how they interact with one another. There are three main plate boundaries, one being a transform boundary, right? They're going to be able to see how the plates move before and after the movement, where they're located around the world for each plate boundary. And you have the convergent boundary, and then you have the divergent boundary that they will learn about as well. Now, the simulation that they have, you can show what the boundary name is. You show the labels between the Earth's crust and the lithosphere and the stenosphere. And then you can show the locations of where the transform boundaries are around the world. Here, you'll use the arrows that will move the plates. You get an overhead view of how a transform boundary moves, where the plates slide past each other. And then you have a side view. And then you can move it back to the previous position. And then you go to boundary B. You can see there's convergent boundary. Now, in this convergent boundary, they're going to show that you the two plates are have continental crust. Now, you, again, you have your overhead view and you have your side view. You use the arrows to show the plates colliding with one another. And you can see that when you have a convergent boundary, the plates collide. And then you go back to the before look. You go to your boundary C. This, again, is a convergent boundary, but this time, instead of having two continental plates, they're going to show you when you have oceanic crust and continental crust collide with one another. And it gives you a different result. This time, when oceanic crust collides with continental crust, you have the result of volcanic activity. That is your after movement. And then you can move it back to the before movement. And then your last play boundary is your divergent boundary. This shows when the plate boundaries move away from one another. In this plate boundary, they have two oceanic crust plates. And when they move away from the boundary, this creates our mid-ocean ridges, which are long chains of underwater mountains. Right? And it's also the beginning of seafloor spreading as well. Once the students have gone through all the simulations, they will scroll down and below, there are five assessment questions for them to answer from what they've learned through the different simulations. Once they've answered all their questions, they'll hit check their answers and it will show which answers they got correct and which answers they got wrong. These results also go through the teacher and you can see what questions each individual student struggled with or you can look at it as a whole class and see which questions the class struggled with and you can base your next lesson from there.